Oh, no, 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 don't go anywhere. Hold on. Uh, hi, everybody. I am Daryl, and you are experiencing the experience of all... Experiences. 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 This is MedTech Experience, where I take you into lessons of everything possible. You're probably going to learn really quick that I like to talk fast, and I like a lot of uh, chop actions with the camera, so I hope you get used to that and don't get whiplash from it. So, you're here for lesson one. Uh, we're doing basics of basics. Basically, you're either coming down with an illness that's kind of messing with your respiratory system, or you might be uh, somebody just entering the medical field, or you just might be curious, strangely curious. Either way, I got you covered. So today we're going over regulators and how to put them on oxygen tanks. Now, this is where I'm going to pop up a bunch of different, yep, there's an example, there's an example, there's an example of different tanks that don't need a regulator put on. But not all tanks are created equally. That's the fun of it. What I have in my hand, wow, that was magic, is a regulator. This one actually comes with a gauge and everything. Uh, we have the point here where the oxygen will pour out. The gauge, if you can tell here, the gauge shows you how full or empty the tank is. Uh, there's a little pin that's actually in the red. If it's in the green, that means it's full. If it's in the white, it means it's half full. If it's in the red, it's empty. All right, so we're gonna be focusing on this top part right here. This is where the magic's gonna happen. So the top of the tank here has a couple different sides. It has a side that we'll be concerned with. It, with the two holes down here, then that opening right there. There's a boring blank side. There's that side, which has little to do with it. And then the other boring side. So we're gonna focus on this one. I call it the triangle. Uh, it's a good place to start. All right, so what we're gonna do is have a little puzzle going on here. Puzzles, 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 great stuff. Right here, the two holes, and then that come into play. The regulator, you're gonna have it face where the gauge is set in the appropriate way. Um, and right here, there's two prongs. What you're gonna do is you're gonna match up these prongs, holes, match them up. Two prongs, two holes, that's where it's gonna go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift that bad boy up, we're going to make sure the gauge is facing the appropriate way, so when you read it, you'll see it. So you're going to lift it up, you're going to slide it over, and as you can tell, it kind of it slips into place, so it goes kind of... Oh, there. The fun part comes into place. You're going to twist this bad boy until you can't twist it anymore. And that's how you do it. Here's the bad thing. If you did it the right way, it's gonna be nice and silent. If you did it the wrong way, it's gonna be loud. I'm gonna show you both. Correct way. Music to my ears. Wrong way. All right, now that I've cleaned up the blood from my ears from that loud, loud sound. Another thing you should know about the regulators, there is a dial right over here where you can twist and set your leader flow. Oxygen is kind of like a prescribed drug, so keep that in mind uh, when you're setting yourself up with oxygen. Always go by the doctor's notes. Uh, one final thing, basically the regulator, it regulates the amount of oxygen coming out of the tank. So when we heard that loud earlier, that was because it wasn't regulating the amount of oxygen coming out. There's a lot of pressure that comes out of the tank. So the regulators are very important. Uh, if you have questions on what kind of tank you have, just look earlier in the video. and I do have multiple pictures of all that. I uh, hope you learned something today. And that is your med tech experience.